If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs Mystery Box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football-themed break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, Every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, every live break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tell them, boys. And from our studios in suburban Chicago, welcome everybody. It's Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks. Joe Aguilar, along with my guy Dave Everding. What's going on, Dave? How's it going, everybody? Good to see you. Good to see you, Joe. How's your weekend? Weekend was good. Good. Uh, daughter had a birthday yesterday. Nice. Happy birthday, belated. Thank you. To your daughter. She's big 18 <laughs> now. We bought her some nice jewelry, and All of course, right. she didn't like it. Now we got to go back. Okay, and, well, yeah, 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 that's tough. <laughs> That's picking, how it goes. picking jewelry for uh, any female, but as my father-in-law <laughs> once told me, jewelry is always a good gift. So, go. uh, word of advice for the uh, the bachelor. Uh, I know he's got it. He's got his girl, but uh, jewelry, jewelry, jewelry is never a bad gift. There we go. And neither is sports memorabilia, ladies. <laughs> hey, uh, like hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, <laughs> getting back to the show. Uh, welcome in to Ultimate Autographs. Here we uh, where we open uh, awesomely cool boxes of signed sports mm -hmm. memorabilia. Mainly NFL sports memorabilia, but not always. Not always. Sometimes you got a mixture up today. Sometimes we have a mixture like now, hey, uh, which is some really cool stuff. So uh, hopefully uh, you guys are in the chat. You're ready to break open some boxes. Yeah, let's uh, see some love in the chat, guys. How you guys doing? What's going on? We can um, open some boxes as soon as we sell out of something. We have not yeah. sold out of anything yet, but... Uh, uh, yeah, may the 4th be with you. It's Star Wars Day <laughs> it is today. Star Wars Day, I forgot. Right? Happy Star Wars Day. Happy Star Wars Day. Big fan. Are um, you a big Star Wars guy? Yeah, because I was that age when like the you know they originally came out was the 70s mid 70s okay you know the the first one and the three so big fans not so much of the newer go. stuff but um cool. yeah so yeah big star wars guy and uh well, you know Joe? it's funny out I, 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 I was trying to like who's the most famous luke sports athlete couldn't find one 
Luke, uh, couldn't find Luke any athlete name. Luke Keekley. There That's you the one go. That came to mind. That's um, why I didn't think of that. It would have to be I Luke Keekley. I could not Keekley. think of any other. I even had to though. Google it. Couldn't find one. Really? Couldn't find a. Why, wow. did, why wouldn't they not have Luke Keekley? Well, that's the only guy Ooh. I could even think of. That Lucas is yeah, there Luke, a Lucas? like Lucas Giolito, the White Sox pitcher. Yeah. Uh, the ace, but Luka. yeah, not many Lukes though. Luca, that, that that will kind of count. Luca Doncic, yeah. There Luka. we go. Luca. That's tough. Though. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm Joe, sorry, I interrupted you before no, that's that. Okay. You were going to say something. I, I probably should have just let you interrupt me. I, <laughs> I, have, I have to. I have to come clean about something. I have never seen a second of Star Wars. What? And before you try wait, to wait, convince wait. me, and before <laughs> before you say anything, I'm just gonna lay down the baseline. I have zero interest in seeing any Star Wars. You've never whatsoever. seen one? Not a single. Not even the original. Minute. Not a literally not a single minute. Of wow. It. I know. Wow. It's just not my cup of tea. I know I am in the vast vast minority there. I you know I, I have no problem with it. It's just not my cup of tea. Wow. But yeah, that I had to come clean. I had to yeah, be honest that's with you. Funny. I felt dirty over here keeping that it's to right. myself. I hey, had to a, tell you. Until you've seen Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, in okay. the original. Come okay. on. Okay. That was one of those every guy had a crush on <laughs> Princess Leia thing. All right. Uh, yeah. Right. Gosh, she's. Uh, it's sad that uh, Carrie Fisher has uh, uh, left us. Uh, love Luke McC- McCown. There's a good there one, go. Jake Boyle. Thank Another you. Famous athlete Luke. Yeah, I was just like stumped on the famous Luke's. There's no Han. The other ones. There was a former Green Bay Packer offensive lineman, uh, Bill Luke. It's an L U E C K. Longtime fa- Packer fans might know that. Uh, he was a guard in the 70s. Uh, you know, had the football card like this. You know, they did the uh, that look for the offensive lineman, but uh, otherwise. Yeah, not not too many. Uh, but I'm gonna go with uh, Luka Doncic. Will uh, will uh, w- will work. Will will work. Uh, did I tell you what's in the room today? Uh, what's on the website? <laughs> Maybe I should get back to that. Uh, we have still our Cool Breeze Platinum helmets. Uh, the the Drew Breeze helmet was pulled yesterday afternoon with Dave and Donnie. So that uh, it was that one's gone, but, but. still. Uh, Lots, still lots of helmets left of, in that series. A lot of headliners in there. Lots, they're always cool, the Platinums. We have uh, we have a new uh, 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 replica helmet posted. It is the Deep Threat is the name of that. As you might guess, it's basically filled with tons of uh, fantastic wide receivers. Included in that list is a uh, Michael Irving uh, Cowboys camo helmet. Uh, a rep helmet. Okay. Also, Devontae Adams is that among the headliners. Chase Claypool, DK Metcalf, uh, Randy Moss on an eclipse. Woo. Stephon Diggs, Bills on an eclipse. And oh, uh, Tyree Kill, Chiefs on an eclipse. So we were just dropping that. That was posted uh, today. So that is up there at $35 per spot. Our traditional black box. And that is basically our complete helmet. We're going to start giving those some kind of fun names, mm-hmm. too, in these series including our jersey series, I believe, yeah. as well. But uh, So that's the deep threat is just the, the complete helmet, all 32 mm-hmm. teams represented in, in that series for the uh, the deep threat. We also have the uh, complete jersey, speaking of that. And then our teammate jersey series, 30 boxes in that. Uh, we've had that up for uh, a few days now. That's basically a double box break mm-hmm. for the jerseys. It's uh, You just double the price there. Uh, it's $44 per spot. And what it is, two jerseys. In one box, guys who were teammates either in uh, at the professional level or at the collegiate level. So you could have the jerseys could be two Niners jersey, you know Montana Rice, which we did pull, or it could be guys who were college teammates. You might have a Bears jersey with a Niners jersey, kind of something like that. So you could have two winners in that break, or one guy, uh, one person could could sweep the break in that teammate jersey series. Also have our football still, the uh, halfback sweep, we're calling that. Yep. The um, combination of white panel balls and uh, super grip footballs. So all together we have six different series available today. And last time I checked, let me give you a quick update here. Um, since I started the show here a few minutes ago, the closest thing we have to being sold out right now the, the Deep Threat has four spots left. Again, we just posted that. And if you were on our site earlier this morning, there was a typo. Because <laughs> the, the, spots, uh, the spot uh, 
the, the amount of money per spot was listed at the retail price, which was like two hundred and fifty four dollars. Like, whoa, these must be like game worn or something. But no, that was a typo. So it is thirty five dollars per spot in that deep thread full size helmet replica helmets. So four spots left in that. And then the uh, the football, uh, I think that was filled up uh, from maybe yesterday too, partially filled up, four spots left mm-hmm. in the halfback sweep football uh, spot. The mixer, which you know, I really dig in this mixer series. Every time I've been hosting, I've, I've been repeating it. We just pulled some amazingly fun stuff out of these mixers, mixer series. The mixer, uh, those are 10-spot breaks. So if you see there's six spots left, four, four bought and into, notice my good math there. Uh, four four uh, minus ten is six. Uh, so for six spots left. Uh, hopefully we can break one of those uh, this afternoon here on the show because uh, you never know what's going to come out of the box. Could be could be a football product. Could be baseball. We pulled some cool bats. We pulled a Giannis Ante Tancupo mm-hmm. basketball. There's some MMA stuff in there. Yes, There's a yes. lot of cool stuff. Really really cool stuff in that in that, that mixer. Stuff. In the meantime, we can um, roll the dice virtually. Yes. We always start the show get prepared by for when something fills out. Doing that, right? We gotta, yes. you know, have our randomizer so we kind of, you know, shuffle the cards. So when we place people into their divisions, we know it was uh, legit. It's not just, you know, um, you know, wherever you bought at what time you bought in the break. So anyway, we, the rule, uh, the rules here, we go by six or higher. On the dice roll, so let's uh, let's see how I do here. How's it going, Michael? Crisp, good to see you, man. What's up, Michael? Jake Boyle. Let me see here. Some of the names. We got a seven. I believe I'll take those seven. names are what. Well, hmm. I think I know what you're talking about. Let me uh, pop this in here on the dice roll. We got seven. I'll take seven all day. There you see the seven on the uh, lower left corner of the screen that's our randomizer today so yeah i think it's just a combination of um the the headliners and who other other big names maybe that that aren't headliners but basically could be headliners in those series and i think what that is is actually i think we for those those are the two the two most recent series that we posted um what's up chris bearing they have those I think that's something new that we're doing, where those bolded are the headlines. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that doesn't mean they were. Yeah, if the, the question though, pulled. if they're in bold, does it mean they were pulled? Uh no, the, is the answer to that. Jake, thanks for asking. Hey, Chris Spearing, welcome in, man. Hey. Hey. I will tell you. Yeah. I, I guess we can disclose it, Dave. Um, I, I don't know when, if the hockey breaks are coming back, but I can tell you. We have, and they are ours for the break room, um, we have some awesomely cool NHL replica goalie masks signed by, I can tell you at least, I can tell you this. Uh, I know we have a Martin Brodeur signed Devils Mini, and I think we also have a full size. So so they're the goalie mask, the cool the goalie, goalie mask. mask. Cool. Uh, we don't have a ton of them. But we just got we, we just got just a good got chunk of them in. So we I'm got thinking some. we're going to be working yes. something in there. So sit tight, sit tight we'll on that. Yeah, because Chris. we I'm excited. Sometimes we get stuff and it's just kind of like passing through, and it's not ours for the break room uh, or even even retail or wholesale. But sometimes we get stuff and like yeah, we're going to have that in in our future break. So some really cool signed uh, NHL masks. They're, they're replicas, they're not the authentics, which go for thousands. Uh, you can imagine, but but they're they're pretty cool. I mean, uh, and again, like any football helmet, full size or mini, easy to put anywhere, you know. Uh, so yeah, so Chris, uh, thanks for asking, or just just thanks, thanks for bringing up hockey because <laughs> normally it takes me like there's a ten minute and under uh, on when Joe will mention uh, some have have some kind of hockey <laughs> reference. Um, so uh, that yeah, we're at uh, about twelve ten. So. Uh, I, I hit it uh, there with the hockey, <laughs> there you go. hockey breaks. Jonathan Lang, Chris Bostain, how are you guys doing? What's up, guys? Love to see you in the chat. Welcome in. Hopefully, we can fill out some breaks here this afternoon. Yeah, and we're then close. we go. I got a seven on the dice roll, there so we like go. I am it's ready, be a good ready day. to rock and roll with a seven. Love that. You Let's know, it's go. funny. Every time we pull a nineteen, I always say Jonathan Taves, Steve Eiserman, hockey reference again. Uh, you know, it was a good nineteen too, Dave. Rob and Dave. I know you're not. I know you're a young guy, but you remember Robin Yount 
Just say, yeah, Joe, sure. The yeah, Joe, Hall, sure. Hall of Fame shortstop for the Brewers. Oh, of course. Love yeah, Robin Yount. Okay. 19. Yeah, I'm a <laughs> so next time I pull a 19 on the box, i got to say Robin Yount for, uh, for, for 19. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Everding. Oh, no, man. he's never seen a Star Wars movie. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> oh man, I I knew I was gonna get shaped for that. But it's don't tell Donnie. I get don't it. Don't tell it's Donnie. Is Donnie a big Star Wars guy too? No, but he probably knows what Star Wars. He's probably yeah, seen, I know what he's Star probably Wars seen, is. He's probably seen a Star Wars movie. All right, we'll ask him. We'll ask him. Dave, <laughs> watch the first one so you can just see Carrie Fisher. I, I don't mean, know. my goodness. I don't know. Gosh, she was beautiful. She was a beautiful lady, <laughs> Carrie Fisher. And, of course, every lady had a crush on, you know, Harrison Ford, including my wife back then. Um, and then Luke was just kind of like the pimply-faced kid. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Harrison Ford, Han Solo, man, he was he was the dude. He was the guy's guy, right? And then he becomes Indiana Jones. I mean, come on. That right? was cool. That was cool. I Harrison like that. Ford, that'd be like, if you could be someone, it would be like Harrison, Harrison Ford would cool be like, uh, you know, he'd be one of those guys. I agree. Uh, <laughs> in any event... Guys, stop talking and open some boxes. Well, we're going to do that uh, as soon. And then we're getting close, Dave. Just yeah, told we're me. getting close. we got three spots left on that mixer at 25 bucks a spot. we got two spots left in our deep threat, that platinum series. Excuse me. Uh, Rep, Rep series. Helmets. Um, J- just drop that today. Other than that, we are staying at We are exactly where we were at when we started the show. So we're getting close there, though. Four left on the football. Getting Four left on the football. Close. And two... Yeah, two on the Deep Threat, the, the new uh, Replica Helmet series. And then the Mixer, three left, 25 bucks per spot on the Mixer. And the way we'll do that one is we'll, um, if uh, you're not familiar with how we do that, we, uh, we'll we'll random, we'll open the box first on the Mixer once we get a box called, if you're in the break. Open the box, uh, marvel at it, check it out, and then, uh, then we will randomize it seven times today. So the 10 spots... Who uh, bought into that break? Ryan Macy, my man. We gotta stick together. What? We gotta stick together, man. <laughs> what? You never gotta stand strong, <laughs> guys. The, the first three, the original with, with you know, uh, Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, Billy D. Williams. You know, Billy D. Played. You know this day. Billy D. Williams played Gail Sayers in Brian's Song. Don't okay. tell me you've never seen Brian's Song. He's never of course seen, I've seen it, he's Joe. Ne- what are you talking about? Actually, Brian's song will make even a grown man weep because it's just so sad. Uh, I don't think I want to see it now. Yeah, in, th- in that regard, you don't want to see Brian's song because it's just going to make you cry. Yeah, I don't want to cry. Even a grown man. I don't, you're like, hey, I don't cry. I'm a guy. Donnie picks on me enough. I, I cry on my drive home every day. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I got a lot of things I could say there, but <laughs> I, I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're uh, saying. I'm just messing. But yeah, Brian, yeah, uh, Billy D. Williams, the great Billy, talk about cool, right? Uh, the great Billy D. Williams played Gail Sayers in, uh, in Brian's song. So, uh, but anyway, he's in, uh, the, the second and third Star Wars. All right. But. Well, Joe, not to change the subject, but I've got great news for you. We, we, we sold something out. We filled out a mixer. Let's do All it. All right. There we go. Mixer. Let's go. Let's pull some Let's gas. Go. <laughs> These are fun. There's the list. Bang. Where's, uh, how come I not seeing my stream on the, uh, on the big screen there? Is that eyeball up? Let me see. The, the, on the uh, Excel? Right. Uh, the restream chat. The eyeball. Maybe it's just not active. Oh, I should see something up there. Let me just double check that. Should be good. Should be shown there on the chat. Let's see if um, I don't know. I don't know why that's not showing. I on see it the on the screen. Side. Do you see it on the left side of the Are screen? Are you talking about the on the, the screen? Not on the um, the restream chat on the uh, the screen that everyone is watching us on. You're talking about the green sheet with all the names. No, not that. Oh. The um, the 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 uh, the chat. The restream chat ah. on the left screen on the left side. But if you're in this if, if you're in this break, so here's where we have the boxes in the mixer mania in the room. 28, 35, 38, 42, and 43. I brought five boxes into the room. So we got Lee, Brian Macy. I uh, was never seen a Star Wars movie like everything. Let's uh, go, Brian. Tim Carpenter, James Stanhope, Joseph Thiel, Hunter Hoops. Love Oops. that. Hoops. Alden, 
Sabatinelli, love that, baby. Ryan Murray and Jeff Hanna has a pair of spots here. Thanks, guys, for filling that up. So how about a box number here, and then we will do the Mixer Mania. Aiden calls out 35. Thank you, Aiden. Let me grab go, 35. Aiden. We'll open that. Uh, no, the, the stream, it is working. I see it up there now. Okay. Uh, 35 on the Mixer. Let me, let me grab that box. 35 on the Mixer. Here we go. And guess what, Joe? You're going to have a deep threat all closed out beautiful, waiting for you. Beautiful, beautiful. We're cooking now. We just need a little bit of time. Go. Happy lunchtime, everybody. Happy uh, Star Wars Day. Here's box 35 in the mixer. Let's see what we got here. And if it's a baseball bat, you're thinking, how can, we, how can you fit a baseball bat into there? Um, uh -huh. What will happen is there will be a piece of paper and saying it's this. If it didn't fit in the box, then we'd go grab it. So, But let's see. There's, there's a little weight to this one, so... Um, I'm guessing it's not a bad or anything. Top spot wins. Top spot wins break. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna open it and then the the, the ten people who bought into this break, we will randomize that seven times. Well, I got something cool here. Um, and then the winner on top, the name on top will win. So let's see what we got here. Um, uh oh, it's it's a football helmet. Here we go. Oh, this is awesome. We got. The Bowman, uh, Bowman, huh. Beckett COA. Where did I come up with Bowman? Uh, I think the cards, Beckett COA. How about a Dak Prescott oh. replica helmet on a right. camo? Did I tell All you right. we have awesomely cool dope stuff Let's go. in these mixers? That is wow. awesome. It's a rep helmet on a speed All right. camo. All right. The uh, recently, well, he's always been rich since he's playing in the NFL, but new new money, Dak, Dak Prescott. New money. new money, Dak Prescott money. We'll see what he can do wow. with it. There, that's dope, baby. That is awesome. Here we go. Here we go. All who's right. It, who's going to take that one home? We got 10 guys here, 10 names. I think they're all, yeah, all men uh, <laughs> in this break. So let's put it on the randomizer. Put them on the list. All right, now let's put this, uh, let's show this here. All right, there we go. Here we go. Seven clicks. The name that on top after the seven one wins the Dak Prescott helmet. Four. There's four. Five. <clears throat> six. Next click. Name on top wins it. It's Hunter Hoops. Hoops. Hunter Hoops. My boy. There we go, Hoops. Nice hit. Let's go. Love that name, by the way. Um, Let's go. Hunter, congrats, man. There we go. Nice hit. That is really... Uh, that's a nice piece to take home. Sweet. I'm that's guessing... Your first, that's your first win, right, Hoops? Is that right? I believe it is. Nice hit. And Hunter, I'm guessing you might have some offers on this. <laughs> I think you might. You very if well you're might. not a Cowboys can, fan, you're not a Dak guy. I can tell the chat right now. We've got probably one of the biggest Jaguars fans that just took that home. So Hunter's a Jags fan. If you've got any Is Jaguars right? pieces, he might be he might be interested in listening to some offers. So just a heads up for anybody. But nice hit. That Let's is go. that is really cool, that's man. A way to start the day. And yeah, that's in the that's a, the mixer. Very cool. Way to go, Hunter. Nice hit. Great way to start the day. Little Dak. And we've got a deep threat coming up next. We're cooking. Jonathan Lang, he's interested. In the, in the Dak? In the helmet? Yup, looks like it. I love yeah. the little community that we've got, guys. That is so fun that you guys can trade and figure out who wants what. And yeah. Everyone, everyone wins there. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I think uh, Team Self, you know Chris and Jan Self. I think they're a, I think they're big Cowboys fans. They're not in the chat today, but uh, they're regulars in the break room. But that is uh, sweet, very cool. Guys, thanks for filling out that break. Those are so fun. Those mixes, ten spot breaks. Mm -hmm. um, appreciate it. <clears throat> 
Oh, there you go, Chris. That'd be, Chris, a, good, that'd that'd be a good little group. And right, a little Irving, little, uh, <coughs> a little Prescott. A little little Curran, two major names for the Cowboys on camos. That would be awesome. Awesome. All right, Deep Threat, this is the uh, premier box here in this uh, new black box, complete helmet. Again, this is something new here. We're going to start uh, trying to, instead of just calling a complete helmet, complete jersey, every uh, every time we're going to try to put some names on them, kind of fun stuff. So Deep Threat is the, the black box Complete helmet, deep threat. Get all the headliners in this, as you can imagine, wide receivers. Yes, sir. Let's go. Jonathan Lang showing some love for the there community. There you go. I'm so happy to hear that. Very That's, cool, Jonathan. I'm so glad that you guys have fun with it and it works out for everybody. All right, so let's do this one. This one, of course, we'll randomize the names first and then slot them in the divisions. Sign those divisions. And, and then do that. You know what you're doing, Joe. You've been yeah, the, the guys in the chat know, but sometimes oh, we get yeah. we get new people like, what are yep. you guys doing? That's true. It can be a little bit hard to follow if, you don't, if you've never been in a break room before. Absolutely. First time I watched this show with Donnie was, it was back in December. Yeah. I'm like, what What's are they doing? And hey, just a little shout out to anyone that's watching that's new, maybe doesn't know what's going on. Never hesitate to put questions in the chat. We are always happy to answer. There's no such thing as a bad question. Everyone's super helpful in the chat and the community, as you can kind of see. So let us know. If you ever have any questions, if we're confusing you or anything like that, that's what we're here for. That's yes. what that chat's here for. And if we can't answer it, probably some of the chat can. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> the, way, the way that works. Absolutely. All right, there we go. So if you're in this break, um, you want to call on a box. Andrew, are you already calling on a box? Man, you're good, bro. This is uh, Andrew call Andrew Lynch, I My believe, was the first four. one. Yeah, Andrew, like, this wait. Feeling good. I like, I like it. Like five minutes ago, he called on box uh, oh. number four. He's got a feeling. Let's do four on the deep threat. Box four. Right, I didn't miss a number before Andrew called and got in there. I don't believe so. All right, good luck, everyone here. Deep threat. Box four, first box. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> so, speaking of crying, Barry Hoops is bought crying some real tears over here. He's so happy that he won something. <laughs> well, I'm congrats, happy for Hunter. You, Hunter. I'm happy for you, man. Way to go, man. Glad you're having fun. All right, good luck here. Aiden, Michael, here we go. Chris, Andrew, Steven Stuber, Jonathan Lang, Chris Bearing, Ryan Murray. I think that's eight different names. Am I right there? I think so. Eight spots, eight different guys. I think. Andrew Winch says it's time. Let's go. go. All right, these are uh, replica helmets. Oh. JSA, COA. Did Andrew know what he was talking about when he called box number four? This is a is Cowboys right? start Ooh. to the day. All right. Cowboys, check this out. Who we got? We got, these are two old timers. This Ooh, is the old cool. Cowboy, Bob and Lily. All right. And the great Mel Renfro. Lily, the DT. Oh, I love the duel. Renfro, the DB. Both Hall of Famers. Lily, Hall of Fame 80. Ooh. The great Mel Renfro, Hall of Fame 96. Cowboys. Let's go. NFC East is Chris Boss. Chris Boss Day. Chris Boss Day. Win, Are you kidding this me? Is Chris. This is, this is carried on over the weekend. I've, I've never week. seen something like this, Dave. On a sick eclipse duel. Let's go. My goodness. Love that. Nice hit, Chris. NFC. Yeah, that's uh, Boss Day, man. Those dual. I love the dual pieces. Just yeah, these are, so are, are really sweet. I mean, two Hall of Famers on it with the inscriptions. That's a sick. Helmet. I uh, not gonna see that too often. I did not know we had this. I didn't either. I absolutely did not either. Wow. Big hit. Um. Wow. And it's gorgeous. Obviously, at a speed um, eclipse, yep. just gorgeous. And you know, when they're old guys, Dave, what do I have? What do you got? Oh, the I, cards. I got the football cards. Yeah. Chris, I got to do That's this. Fun. I got to throw in a uh, Bob Lilly. And I'm going to give you the the last. I'm going to give you another Bob Lilly. I'm going to give you this Bob Lilly. And there I got a Mel Renfro. Again, little when, free cheese from Joe. When Joe was little, <laughs> um, 
I collected football cards, like a lot of a lot of, a lot of guys, right? And then I get all these cards, and I'm like, what do I do with them? And then I found Ultimate Autograph, and they hired me. And then I got all these cool cards, and now I got a place to get rid of them. So you can display that um, with uh, the helmet, like Mel Renfro. Look at the handsome young Mel Renfro here. Look at this card. This oh, is a Mel Renfro. Mel. Check this out, Dave. Check this out. It's a good looking guy. What year is this? This is like from the 60s. Here we I go. got this one from my, my cousins, my older cousins when Love I was that. a kid. It's actually in pretty good shape, too. So I've got to throw that in there. And and then here's Bob Lilly. This is uh, oh, you got two se of them? 75 Bob Lilly. That's awesome. Check that out. Joe, how fun. That's really cool <laughs> that you brought those in. I love that. Very cool. And get, there you go. Put it with the uh, the Gratis Yard card. <laughs> now, i got to tell Stevie to put those in a, in a separate sleeve here before he uh, ships them out. So I'm going to put them in the little sleeve with the COA. I showed you that. was a JSA COA. Did I show you that right? I did show you that. All right. Yeah, the Renfro and Lily. Dope! And Chris Bostain, who's, I've never seen a hot streak like this. And Chris, I think you um, just found UA uh, not long ago, correct? Yeah, I think uh, it's only been a couple of weeks. He's been enjoying his time, and we'd love to have you with us, Chris. We really have. It's another nice hit. Awesome. Wow, if, if that uh, the rest of this series lives up to that, this uh, deep threat... Yeah. Funny enough, neither guy's a wide receiver, but uh tell you about some of the cool stuff we have uh in this just dropped. Yeah, about two weeks ago, Chris found us. Um in this just dropped black box replica helmet uh series. That is really sweet. Two cowboys, Dallas Cowboy Legends. So we pulled two helmets, one was in the mixer, and we got uh two cowboys. Dave, it was you and me last week when we did like seven boxes and like four of them were Steelers. Yeah, we did have Steelers crazy? that time. I mean, honestly, two teams that I am very okay with pulling. They've got a lot of great players, a lot of Hall of Famers, a lot of fans too, so it keeps the people happy. I'm all about it. Right? How fun was that? Thanks, everyone. Great. And congrats again to uh, Chris. Yeah. On the. Uh, Here we go, Chris. The, the Cowboys hit there. Chris wants to do it again, back in that deep threat. Five spots left in that deep threat, number two. That mixer's filling up as well. I'll get you a count on that in just one second. Yeah, Chris might have his own store, uh, just for <laughs> the, the museum. I'll just uh, how much pretty soon here at, at this rate. <laughs> pretty fun. All yeah. right, guys. Got to play to win. Got to play to win. Got to play to win. And Chris does play a lot. It, <laughs> In his defense, I, I remember yeah, at a I was at a charity golf outing uh, several years ago, and yeah, I think I bought I don't know, but I didn't spend a ton on like the raffle tickets, um, but I bought a few, maybe I don't know, maybe I spent like fifty bucks or thirty bucks, not a lot. And then I'm sitting next to this guy, and he's winning constantly. I'm like, he's winning new new driver, new this TV. And then he told me like how much money he spent yeah. on, on the raffle tickets. I'm like, oh, well, okay, that explains it. He deserves it because he he dropped a lot more money on the raffle tickets. So, uh, play to win. Chris playing a lot, and uh, but but really winning some some fun stuff. <laughs> Let me give you an update here on because uh, nothing. Um, let's see. Yes, yeah, so we just did the uh, the deep threat. So we got four left, and oh wow, that's already going. Deep threat number two, live break number two, are uh, already halfway sold out. Four spots left there, and six left in the the teammate jersey series. I can't, I don't remember if we had a couple spots um, pre-sold or those have sold out during the uh, since we went on at at noon central time here. Seven left in the jersey, complete jersey. Uh, three left in the football now. I think there were four when we started the show. So three left in the football. Maybe we can open a football here this afternoon. 20 bucks per spot. That's the uh, lowest priced break we have on the uh, on the website. The, the jerseys are 22. The helmet is 20. And the mixer is only 25. So um, the mixer mania, uh, two spots broken, in, uh, yeah. broken uh, bought into that. 
eight again, spots ten left. spot break, so two, uh, eight left in the mixer mania. <laughs> yeah, Chris, I mean, you're you're winning at such a rapid rate. All of a sudden, it's like, boy, the uh, you know, like the the FedEx or uh, post office guy's like, what is this guy doing here? What is he building uh, with all these boxes I've been shipping to him? How do I how do I win? Um, great question. That's Adrian. a great question. Great I can, question. Uh, Adrian, I can tell you how uh, how you play, how you get in. So if you go to our website, if that's what you're asking. Um, I think he's asking how it's determined how they win. But maybe I would start at how you buy it, and that would be a great way place to start. Yeah. yeah. So, Adrian, if you're asking, like, how do you play, uh, participate, so what you do, and I can post, if you're not watching us uh, on our website, go to our, our website, ultimateautographs.com just like it sounds, and then that black horizontal bar at the top will say UA Live Breaks. You uh, click on that, and then you will see all the series that are available today. You can purchase a spot in a break. So you're not guaranteed of winning, but you purchase a spot. They are generally eight-spot breaks, unless the mixer. The mixer is 10. So you, if you buy one spot into, um, let's say, the Cool Breeze Platinum series, you have a one in eight shot of winning. You can always buy multiple spots. You buy into a spot, and then we uh, assign everyone an NFL division. We randomize the division so you can't choose your division you want to. Um, so we randomize the divisions, place them like you do on the, see on the right side there, and then we pull an item out of a box, and whichever team that is, you know, if it's a Bears helmet, it would go to the NFC North. If it's a Dolphins helmet, it would go to the um, AFC East, whoever had the AFC East, etc. And that's how you win. That's how you play, and that's how you win. Hey, so guys, we a uh, quick question here. We filled out deep threat number two already. Bang. I'm about to post deep number number three. Let me see a two in the chat if you guys want to make that a double, because that first that second one flew. So if you let me see a couple twos in the chat for a double. If you guys have any interest there, I'll hold off posting that second one for a minute or third one, excuse me. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in having a double box break for that third deep threat, which is those replicas. A Adrian's in for a two. Adrian's in for a two. So, the, that. so the double box break would be so seventy dollars per spot. Seventy dollars per two spot. Two helmets would be broken each time. So you got two chances to win. You could win them both, depending on uh Yeah, you get what's the same bold. you get the same division in a double box break. Again, if you're if you're new to the uh, uh, break room, to new, new to breaking, um, you would get the same division in in a double box break. Yeah, no cash. That would be cool if we could do that through via cash, right? Yeah, no cash. Maybe someday Many days, maybe someday, someday we we'll like do a live event, right? That'd be fun. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been really my wallet out to do and that. drop. I got, I got a, I got a twenty. I got, a, I got, I got fifty. I got a fifty dollar bill here. Let's just buy into a break. That would be. It'd fun. be fun if we could ever do something uh, remotely. Uh, I know there's a lot of logistics involved, not not just with COVID, all that kind of stuff with restrictions and stuff, but it'd really be fun to meet. Uh, Meet some of the fans and uh, just talk sports, right? Like like we do anyway. <laughs> like we do anyway, just in person. <laughs> right, right. You know, we've gotten so to used to just the life behind a computer screen this past year or so. Well, you know, a lot, obviously a lot of sports talk radio shows. I know in Chicago they like to do do remote broadcasts. It's always fun. No beans, says no Adrian. Beans. Adrian, I don't know what that means. I can't lie. I'm a little confused. <laughs> but no, we do not accept beans as a form of payment, if that's what you're asking. Deep threat number two is ready to go. Dave, thanks for uh, getting no that ready. Problem. So hey guys, four, gonna, four is gonna, gone on the deep If I can threat. get one more two in the chat for a double, I'll make it a double. If not, I will keep it a single. So I'm going to hold off for one more second here. If I get one more two, I'll make it a double. Michael Chris gives me a three. Well, my, oh, oh, Michael, maybe that's coming out the box number. I think he's calling oh, out the box excuse number. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Michael, good at another guy who's good at calling out the boxes. Adrian, don't you worry. I uh, I'm gonna be posting up another one here for that uh, that deep threat. If you want to get into that. All right, there we go. Todd's in for a double. There you go. All right, let's do it. So this so we'll randomize this seven times, place them in uh, their respective divisions, and then uh, open a box. The uh, second box in this um, in this new series. Four, five. Six, 
and seven. There we go. Joe, so would you mind throwing me a little one of those pieces of? Actually, nope, I got it. You got it? Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, and yeah, Adrian, or uh, yeah, the box, there's Michael Chris with box three. Yeah, when, I, when people are throwing in, the, I want to make sure, I'm glad, I'm glad we don't have box number two in the break, in the room, otherwise it'd be, it'd be like, be confused on the box number. So so three it is on the um, on the break, on the, uh, the box number. Now I'm confusing myself, three. Deep Threat, live break number two. This is box three. <laughs> it's confusing sometimes. <laughs> Here we go. All right, good luck, everyone. Here we go. Let's see. Jake, watch a little Randy Moss. Let's see what we have here. Randy? Randy? I love Randy Moss. I, I love, love Randy saying Moss. his name, honestly, but I right. also do love Randy Moss. He is funny. Beckett, COA. All right. Well, it's not Randy Moss, but it is a headliner. It's Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry, Browns. There we and go. And a Browns eclipse. Here it is. We talked about it at the start of the show. The um, the headliners in this series, deep threat guys. Well, he kind of, you know, he's a slack guy, but... Uh, the sure-handed uh, great receiver. So Cleveland Browns, AFC North. That's Chris. Chris, is it Beagler or Beigler? Chris B. Chris B. That'll work. Go. Chris, congratulations. I haven't seen uh, Chris's name before. Chris, are you new? Uh, or are you just having, I've just missed you before when you've been. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little interesting tidbit that I just learned. Out of all of the LSC, LSU receivers that are in the NFL. Jarvis Landry has the most Pro Bowl appearances. Really? Of all LSU receivers that made it to the NFL with five. Is that Three right? To five straight Pro Bowls. How nuts. Did not know that. I, I, I was shocked. That is awesome. Well, there you go, Chris. No, Chris uh, uh, Chris Beagler uh, and Chris Bostain had a quick... Guys, where's my name at? Chris, were you um, in Deep Threat number uh, number two? Live break number two, Chris Bostain. Oh, I typed deep threat for your name, Chris Bostain. Let me just oh, confirm that oh. real quick. Yep, I absolutely did. So you were the deep threat name in there. You had your order number there. I just had a typo. I apologize about oh. that. But that 56166 was your order number. You were in that break. My bad, though. That was a typo on me. Sorry about that, Chris. I, I just noticed that in the in the list of names. There. I'm like, there's someone named deep threat. How cool is that? Oh, that, that was Chris Bostain. Okay. <laughs> that that's a first. I, I can see, Lee. I, I've worked Dave's side uh, many times, and I can see how that could happen. <laughs> totally see how that happened. That's funny, Chris. We're just gonna call Sarah calling you deep threat now. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Chris B. Oh, another. They're both Chris B. Because it's Chris Bostain and Chris. I'm the guy's Beagler. Chris, I'm hoping I'm not pronounced mispronouncing that. Uh, but very sweet, Jarvis Landry on a uh, on a uh, speed run, the, the, uh, the Eclipse. Bowler. Eclipse. Five-time Pro Bowler. Isn't that wild? That's impressive. It is. Very, very, very impressive. Very dope. Dopish. Helmet and great stat on Jarvis Landry. I would not have known that. So the most for an LSU wide receiver? Yes. And that's in the likes of uh, Odell Beckham Jr. went to LSU. He's only been to one or two Pro Bowls I saw. Justin Isn't Jefferson right? was at well, one yeah, Pro Bowl yeah, last year. Well, yeah, rookie year, one, one for one. one. Dwayne Bow, LSU. Dwayne I mean, Bow right. had two Pro Bowl appearances. One or two, I think. One or two. Um, but, yeah, I thought that was very impressive for, for good old Jarvie. Bigler, thank you. Bigler, Perfect. The, the, thank uh, you, the E is silent. There you go. We always appreciate that. We all we hate to mispronounce names, so always let us know if we are not doing it correctly. Bigler. Chris, congratulations. I'm glad you like that uh, Jarvis Landry uh, rep helmet. Very, very cool on the Eclipse. All right, that was Deep Threat 2. Again, that filled out quickly. 
We did Mixer Mania. Did I change the color for Dave? I did. Or maybe he did it for me. He did Deep Threat number one. Bang, bang. Hey, can we can we take a pause here for one second? I'm really sorry. Yeah. We have... I think we had a little mix-up with our Deep Threat... It looks like our retail boxes are posted at the wrong. I'm going to have to take that down real quick. Let me take this down. Off the um, live breaks page? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to... Let me take that down. All right. Eric Sanders. Eric Sanders. It looks like you bought into three of the the Deep Threat series for $35. That was in... We, we had misposted that. That was from our personals tab. I'm not sure what went on there. I'm going to have to refund you for all of those orders that you just made. You just made three orders there. Um, I'm going to have to refund you for that. So I do apologize about that very, very much. Um, it looks like our retail boxes and our break spots got mixed up. So I'm truly, truly sorry about that. I will refund you right after the show ends. I'll get those refunds processed. I've got a note here for you. Um, I just need to let you know. So I apologize about that. But anyway, um, let's keep moving. I apologize. I had to, I had to mention that though. Oh, okay. So, so the, so the live break number three on the website now, the double box break, that is accurate? That is accurate. Yes, okay. that's good. That's $70 a buy-in. Um, and I had to take down, so there's we just can't do any personals right now for the deep threat. Okay. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but we'll get that all good to go um, right after the show. Okay. So six spots left in that uh, double box break. Sorry about um, that confusion, live guys. Break. Otherwise, we have six left in the teammate jersey still and three left in the football still. So let's see if we can fill out a couple more. We've only done the, um, look. The uh, three, yeah, because Stevie took one of the boxes out. We've done just the three boxes so far. All They've all been platinum helmets. One was in the mixer. That was the Dak Prescott. Um, it was the camo, right? The camo helmet on the rep. So, guys, thanks for hanging out with us this afternoon. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we can fill heaps. out some more stuff here tonight. Uh, no minis, uh, mini helmets available today, this afternoon. But I know another... Mini Helmet Series is boxed. And it looks like it's like on the on-deck circle, ready to go. So maybe that'll be posted by tonight. I'm hopefully I'm back here tonight, 8 p.m. Central Time with uh, Maddie Bohannon. Uh, so hopefully that's ready tonight. But no Mini Helmets available today. We sold out last night of our, our Bad Dude Mini uh, Helmet Series, which we had up for you know, less than a week. That sold out last night, the final Five boxes. I think they did a little five box break to uh, finish the show last night, but uh, so n none today. But uh, more tonight. Hopefully, if not for sure, I would guess tomorrow. So, but anyway, in any event, six six different series available this afternoon, including that, that deep threat replica helmet black box, which we dr just uh, dropped this afternoon or uh, this morning actually. Hey Adrian, Adrian Joe Vella. Love that name. Are you, are you, uh, are you by chance? What's the name? Eric Sanders. Is that why we got the frown face in there? Um, because you can absolutely still get into our um, the Deep Threat series. Just go to the Live Breaks tab, not the Mystery Box tab, and you'll be able to get into those that double box break for the uh, the Deep Threat. We can absolutely still get you in there. Okay, he said he's not the... Uh... Oh, okay, you're not. I'm okay. sorry. Well, I, I also apologize about whatever that frowny face was for. I must have missed that. <laughs> no one likes to see a frowny face. Jonathan Lang, a little message for Hunter Hoops in the break. I have a full-size Eclipse Jones Drew Jags. <sighs> Roll Jags, baby. If interested. Full-size. Clips. All right. Ah, the mini helmets. Yeah, we'll have those up tonight. Thinking we'll have those good to go tonight. Yeah, the, the minis you're talking about. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, we gotcha. just sold out of them the, the last mini helmet series last night. They move quick. They do. And so, again, we have the next one. 
there's always like you can imagine not to bore you with the details but um <laughs> several steps in having things posted on the website so you guys um, keep us busy that's for sure i know love the minis <laughs> gonna love the hockey stuff i'm telling you sweeping oak how are you doing my man let's go that's jason short what's jason. up brother how's it going good to see you today what do you say jace what do you say we got a double double deep threat for you those have been flying today we're well thank you yeah, thanks for asking, man. Thanks for stopping in the chat. We've already pulled some heat today. Dak yeah. Prescott, Camo, Rep Helmet in the Mixer series. And then the first box in the um, Deep Threat Replica Helmets, a dual-signed Bob Lilly, Mel Renfro, Cowboys Eclipse. That was just sweet. That was awesome. Love the dual yeah. signatures. Can I, are you talk, Adrian, you can't find the site? I'm not sure if you're yeah, asking this or not, but if you're looking for the uh, the Jerry, website. Yeah, you want to throw a, a throw that in the that chat. chat there for that UA Live Breaks tab? That'd be awesome. Yeah, Adrian, we got you. Give Joe one. There it is, it ultimateautographs.com. You see it right there. Just click on that. Perfect. And then that horizontal bar, on the, the, the black horizontal bar at the top, where it says UA Live Breaks, click on that tab. That's how you get into the uh, the breaks. That link should actually the box take breaks. you right to that Live Breaks tab. That'll be perfect. Oh, it should. Yeah. Perfect. perfect. Better, okay. better yet, Adrian. then. We got you. Yeah, you can buy. Yeah, you can. So, so the way it works, as far as um, getting into the breaks, you, you, yeah, I guess you. Well, no, you can't. Not until after the show can you buy into a break tonight. If you buy into a break today. And we don't sell it out before we sign off. That'll just carry over to tonight. But if you want to get into, into something tonight because you, you, you know you're, you're busy at work or you can't be here live, and again you don't have to be present to win. But you can't buy a, a spot into into a break tonight until we post it after this show. If that, that makes sense, correct. that is correct. But you've got that website um, for when those do get posted, locked and loaded. Jason Short wants some action in that deep threat. Love to see it. There you go. There you go. We got four spots left in that deep threat double. Beautiful. Might yeah. not be a bad way to end the show. Yeah. Fill that out. Unless we maybe fill out the football. I thought the football yeah, might fill out. Too. Football guys, is uh, 20 bucks per spot. There are three left in the uh, halfback sweep. You guys know how I feel about carrying over more than four people over, the, over shows. <laughs> I don't sleep well when I do that. So right? if you guys want me tired tomorrow, that's fine. But just know. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, see the uh, see the Ravens today signed uh, Who they sign? uh, Alejandro Villanueva. I know he's not like a, a big not name, but he's a former Steelers. Uh, Pro Bowl offensive tackle can play the left right. side or the right side. They had to replace. So, uh, I always forget the. Yeah, guy's they're kind of revamping the their. Uh, yeah, they they just lost another guy. The Steelers. They just gave him to the line. Chiefs, and they they took some draft picks for him, I think. But yeah, who I'm excited. Yeah, so I'm excited Ravens. for this NFL season, Joe. It's no. going to be awesome. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, Bears are Bears here in Chicago releasing Charles Leno Jr. Yep, I think that was time. It was, I think that was good, time. dude. Um, We're making way for the young guns that we just drafted. Solid player. Yeah, he's solid. But he wasn't great. And I think the two offensive linemen the Bears drafted. When you can get two offensive linemen on rookie contracts, or really two of any player on rookie yeah. contracts, like it's just so advantageous. Well, as yeah. long as you're not sacrificing the quality of play. Yeah, little good guy, solid player. Uh, jumped off sides too much. Or, uh, and... Uh, and um, False started, I should say. False started too much and just didn't play with enough mean streak, which you these two guys the Bears the drafted, line, they both have a little nasty to oh, them. Yeah. Larry Borum and um, Jenkins. Uh, Tevin Jenkins. Yep. Uh, I'm a big fan of Jenkins. Man, I think that the Bears said a lot about what they thought of their old line last year. You got to be well, a spit in your face kind of guy, right? To play that position, well, any really position do. in the NFL. You just got to be hard-nosed. But, yeah. So, we'll see what happens. I know. I'm curious to what's going to happen with uh, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, I'm, I can't wait. He is not in Green Bay. I I would – I should check the sports books to see what the odds of him going to the field is. Interesting. He is not going back to Green Bay. There's no way. Well, I asked Garrett 
this, I think Sunday, we were talking. Yeah, it was because after the NFL draft stuff. Uh, I don't know if you're any Broncos fans or... So, like, the Broncos, A, do they believe in Drew Locke and, and or Teddy Bridgewater? B, they just didn't believe in Justin Fields. Because, like, why would they pass Justin Fields? Or do they think, well, we're going to get Aaron Rodgers, so, Aaron Rodgers, so we're not going to trade or a draft, whether it be Justin Fields or Mac Jones, who was, who was available there when they were picking mm-hmm. at nine overall, I think. Uh, or, yeah, because, you know, Bears fans, the, sti- the city of Chicago is ecstatic with the Justin Fields pick. Could be wrong. We, we really are. <laughs> uh, but the city, I, I haven't seen the Chicago this excited for a draft pick. It just feels Bears right. Bears draft pick. Since I can't... Um, I agree. I can't remember. It just feels right. And I said it yesterday, I'll say it again. There we I'm go. ready to be hurt again. I don't even care if it doesn't work out. <laughs> it's, I'm ready. It uh, feels right. Uh, Jason, you're a Broncos fan. There you go. Yeah, I, I, what do you think? I do, do they believe in Drew Locke still? Because Teddy Bridgewater is a nice player, but he's not leading you to any Super Bowl. I feel anytime. bad for Teddy. I <laughs> feel good bad dude. for Teddy. He made a nice career. And, I feel like oh, he... Like, are I, they getting Aaron Rodgers? They really think they're getting Aaron Rodgers. And then, then you don't draft the quarterback. Then you, you go defense. And then the thing is, with defense, they, they draft the, the Sertan kid, who was uh-huh. you know, considered a legit top 10 pick. But they just signed our guy Kyle Fuller. So now you've got... I mean, two well, should be a fantastic duo. Detroit. And I know Fuller's on a one-year deal, but um, wow, I, I, don't what, I, don't I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. I'm going to miss Fuller. I mean, yeah, we I love Kyle lie. Fuller here. That was strictly a cap casualty. That's why Kyle yeah. Fuller's no longer that one a Chicago hurt, Bear. But that is that is the way it goes sometimes. I will say this. I'll make a bold claim here. The Broncos, if they stay where they're at right now with quarterback, with either Drew Locke or Teddy. I think if they start Teddy, they are a – or if they start Drew Locke, they are a bottom five team in the league. I think if they go and get Aaron Rodgers – Well, then the, – I think they have – Not nah, ch- changes everything, right? I, I think that truly changes everything because they have a lot of pieces on that team. A lot of good young wide receiver, really talented wide receivers. I, Judy and Sutton and those guys. No, they're not going to – you know, I don't North think they're going to top the Chiefs end. in terms of winning that division. But I think they – if Aaron Rodgers went to the Broncos, I think they would make the playoffs, and they could make a strong push. Oh yeah, I also think they it's would like be the the, really the Brady team. factor. True, the whole dynamic changes, right? I think it would be very similar to the Brady factor. They would go from one of the the bottom teams in the league to uh, to very very good because they have a lot of great pieces. I'm a huge fan of Cortland Sutton. Um, is Philip Lindsay still? He's not on the Broncos. He's on the, the Jason, Texas, right? Jason agrees with you, Dave. What are you saying? I'm sorry. Oh, I was just talking. One hundred percent. Yeah. Two two left in that deep threat. The double box break. Two spots left in the the deep threat. Double box break for the the replica helmets. I guess live break number three. We just uh, we did one and two. The the first boxes in this newly dropped series. Uh, so yeah, the headline again, the the, the the deep threat. We just pulled the headliner. We pulled Jarvis Landry. Yeah. But the other headliner is still in that um, that deep threat. Uh, Chase Claypool, Devontae Adams, DK Metcalf, Randy Moss on an eclipse, and Stefan Diggs on an eclipse, a Bills eclipse, and and a Tyree Kill on a Chiefs eclipse. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, Eric Schlauber, shout out. Yeah, a little uh, a yeah, Drake right? University grad. There you go. In the NFL, the only one that I can think of that really has ever made it to the NFL. Who is that? I think. Uh, Eric Schlauber. Er- oh, Tight gotcha. End. Gotcha. Drake, Drake U. I've met him before. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. And who, refresh me, um, refresh my memory. Eric Sauber is he's a tight end. Tight end for. He dra- he, so he's on the Broncos now. Oh, oh, okay. He was okay. drafted uh, by. Uh, Hoops, you're going to have to help me here. I think he was drafted by the Falcons and then went to the Bears and then went to the Patriots. Did he play with the Bears? And then the Jags. He was with the Bears? And now the, and now the Broncos. He has been bouncing around the league like a beach ball at a Nickelback concert. <laughs> uh, but it. he's singing in there, and I love it. I love to see our hey, man. Hey, Bulldogs got to eat, right? Let's go, Drake. All right, deep threat uh, sold out. That it is. Beautiful. That's a double boxer. What are the box? Do I, have, I only have two boxes in the room. 
There you go. Uh, if one and two suffice, yeah, because we just did three and five. There it is. All right. Love to see it. Got those names ready for you. Bang. All right, guys, that's right. We'll, we'll do one and two. Uh, actually, I got another block. I have uh, five in the room, too. All right, so it looks like we do need some, some box numbers. Yeah, so I got one, one, two, and five in the room. Well, we'll need two here because double box break, Joe. Um, so, all right. Thanks, Dave, for getting that posted. And I'm going to drop that next one down to a single. Just a heads up, guys. Let's do a double box break here. Let's um, randomize this. Put them on the, on the screen for everybody. All right. Thanks for filling this out. Really appreciate it. Seven times on the randomizer, we'll do a pair of boxes here in the uh, rep helmets. Five, six, seven. There we go. All right, we got five and one and five, I guess, right? One and five. Oh, oh, did Adrian call down two, right? Looks like Adrian called out two and Chris Bostain called out five. Is Adrian, Adrian in, the, in the break? Is Adrian in this, or is that something else? Adrian, you got to be in the break to call the box numbers. I'm sorry, I, we forgot to tell you that. Sorry um, about that. Yeah, we only let the people that are in the breaks call them. So we got five from Chris. Five and, and, one, five and from one. from Andrew Right, Lynch. five and one. There Sound go. good? Five and one. Thank you, guys. Do one, we'll go in numerical order, as we always kind of do. We'll do uh, we box one and then box five. Deep threat. Let's see what we got here. All right, good luck, everyone here. Brian, Chris, Andrew, Ronald Wolf, Jonathan Lang, Jason Short, Ryan Murray, and uh, Chris Boston has a pair of spots here. Mr. Fire. See you tonight, Adrian. Thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, Adrian. All right. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Two boxes. Well, this is nice. I'm going to pull this out of the sleeve here because I don't want you to see the name. But uh, there's the JSA COA. about a Raven? This is okay. Marquise Brown. Another really there good go. uh, young wide out. I think he's going to make a big step this season. An Eclipse uh, helmet. Nice player. Ravens. We don't see too many. What? Oh, Ravens. Love to see it, though. AFC North. One of the hottest teams in the NFL. These Jonathan Lang. Years. There you go, Jonathan. There you go, Jonathan. Nice heads. Clean looking wood right there. Marquise Brown. Yeah, he's a nice player. I think it's it's crazy to say because the Ravens' offense has been so good these past two years or two and a half, whatever it's been since Lamar. I think they're going to make a huge jump this season. They're going to be one of the best run teams in the league. And then also, I mean, there's no excuse for them not to be one of the top five passing teams as well. Who did, who did, they, uh, who did the Ravens get in the draft? Do you remember offhand? They've got some, they got some wide receivers. Who did they get? Um, who else thing. did they get? I forget. Way to go, Jonathan. Marquise Brown. Nice, really. What was second round pick? Former second round pick? Yeah, there Marquise you go, Jonathan. Brown. There you go. There you go. That's a real nice hit. I love getting hits oh, for yes. young guys. You get to kind of watch their whole career. Yeah, you're right. You, you had a good quarterback. Yeah, especially when they have a good quarterback thrown to them. Can't beat that. All right, Ravens. AFC North. All right, here we go. That was box one in this double. Second box. Box break. Here we go. 
box five. I like, uh, Dave, how about the the white paint pen here on the box number? Is that Nikki doing that magic there? That looks good. Right? It really pops. That looks good. Here we go, Andrew. Andrew wants a hit. Here we go, Andrew. Andrew. What division you in? NFC East? What do you got, right, Andrew? We need some more Cowboys action. NFC you, East, right. Should have had the NFC East earlier. Well, let's see what we got here. Here we go. Back at COA. This is the great Eric Dickerson on a okay. Colts. Ooh, I like it on Eric the Colts. Eric Dickerson on a Colts. Love it. Speed. Blue ink. Rep helmet. Hall of Blue. Fame Look at that. That is nice. Let's go. Colts. It's not the is NFC he, East, but it's the AFC a, South. AFC South. Jason Short. Jason, way to go. Nice hit. Dick the Hall of Famer all day. There we go. Jason Short, first buy another day. Sorry Thanks. for Andrew Lynch there, buddy. But Can't congrats to Jason. Yeah, nice hit, Jason. Here's the nice Dickerson, man. That is sweet. Definitely. It's in the I deep mean, threat. Quite literally one of the greatest running backs of all time. Yes, and a great auto, too. Yup. Love the Eric Dickerson auto. Love the big ED. Wow, very nice. On that inscription. Let's go. It's a clean-looking lid, too. I like the white-based lids. Me, too, I like right? Them a lot. It's just, man. It's just a little, a little clean. A sharp-looking helmet. Nice hit, Jonathan. Very nice. Excuse me, Jason. Jason. Yeah, Jason Short. Jonathan won the first one. Nice hit, Jason. Sweet. You have them on my Rams as well. That's awesome, Jason. There you go. That's a nice little combo right there. The Eric Dickerson package. Eric Dickerson. Well, that's uh, Kevin Finn that has him on a throwback Rams. Right? Looks like, it chat. looks like Jason does as well. Well, you do too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see it there. Right? Both of you guys have them. Love it. Well. It's a good name to have. Uh, right? Yeah. It's a fantastic name to have. The you great know, sometimes people Eric aren't. Dickerson. As excited to get players that have retired, but I would completely disagree with that claim. I like you know it. You know exactly what you're getting. Oh, yeah. You know I exactly mean, exactly what you're getting. Miss a Hall of Fame. Yeah, especially when it's one of the greatest running backs of all time. Two, former 2000. I think Dickerson yeah. still holds the record for rushing oh. yardage in a season. Adrian Peterson 20, was the closest one, and he was like six yards behind. Isn't Dickerson it was like 2,100? Plus, it's, it's like, single it's season like, record. I think it's like 2,083 or something. Is it, is it shade under 21? Let me let me take a look, though. Yeah, I think Dickerson still holds a single se Strangely, because, well, now they're going to be having 17 games. 2,105. 2,105 for uh, Eric Dickerson. 2,105. Wouldn't you thought, think, because when did he set that? That was got to be 20 years ago he set that. And Adrian Peterson was at 2,097. So, quite literally... Eight yards behind. Eight yards. Do we have, when did Dickerson, does it say the year there, Dave? When yeah. When did Dickerson set that record? Any guesses? I guess that's I'm, I'm going to say, guess. gosh, I think Dickerson's a. Here, I'll tell you how long he played for. I'm going to say he, 98. He came into the league in 1983 and left the league in 1993, and there was two-year okay, hiatus. No, actually, never Wait. mind, there wasn't. No two-year hiatus. So from 83 to 93, and it was his sophomore season. 2105, his second year in the NFL. Wait, what year? 19... 1984. That record is held since then? And since I also, 84? I also just... Oh, my... These are crazy. I, I've seen these stats before. This is nuts. It took until his fifth year in the NFL, of which he only played 10 games in, which is the reason that he didn't hit this, for him to not rush for over a thousand yards and have double digit touchdowns. Really? And he still rushed for over a thousand yards. He just didn't have double digit touchdowns in the year that he brought, he played wow. ten games. I so, mean, what an absolute. So how old is Eric Dickerson? He's like sixty. Uh, I bet he can still rush for like uh, <laughs> about eight eight hundred yards. I bet. I bet he probably could. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, that's. A I'm great sorry. Answer. I'm taking away from Dave from doing his job. No, I no, keep, I keep throwing good. out questions. You are all good. We have been. Oh, here we go. Jimmy Gonzalez. 
Wants the mixer action? There you go. We got seven spots left in the mixer. Hey, Jimmy. Welcome to the show, man. First time customer. Love to see it. Eric Dickerson, Dickson, Eric Dickerson is 60. I was right. Still wearing the, sh in the photo I see. Uh, still wearing the, the shade. You know, he always wore the goggles when he played. Yeah. That great upright. Someone once said in the chat, I forgot who it was. He could run like with an egg on top of his helmet and it wouldn't fall. He just he just ran that <laughs> just that straight. that vertical yeah. um, you know tall. up that upright position and just like just flew. He was Love so that. fun to watch. Unless he was playing your against your team, <laughs> and then you didn't want to watch That's Eric fair. Dickerson anymore because he was just just fabulous. That is fair. Wow, guys, thanks for filling out that double box break. That was really cool on the uh, the. Newly dropped Deep Threat Replica uh, Black Box Helmet yeah. Series. Awesome. Joe, it might be time for a last call. We did, did just have one order in, but it's been pretty slow, and we are a little far away. So so I guess we're not going to fill out the football. Three spots left. Maybe we'll do that tonight. Uh, last call here, then. Uh, you can always do a personal, too, yeah, if you want. Can. You can, they can do a personal now on the... Um, Absolutely. On, on, deep that, threat. on that mystery box tab, we the don't have threat. we don't have those deep threats for the personals available oh, right oh, now. Oh, okay. okay. I'm really sorry about that. We we'll gotta, take we care of it after sure the show. That correct. Um, but yeah, we can do personals on anything else. Um, yeah, bars open as Joe says. Last Bar call here. Um, see if you want to fill out anything else. You got three left in the football. That's the closest thing we have to being sold out um, right now. Seven on the complete jersey. Six on the teammate jersey. I don't think we've sold a spot there uh, this afternoon not in today. that. Not today. Uh, not today. Cool Breeze Platinum uh, kind of stagnant now. We did uh, pull the Breeze, the Drew Breeze helmet. There's still a lot of big yes, headliners yeah. in there, guys. Yeah, so we still we have, about, have uh, Eric Dickerson, like, Aaron Donald. We've got Lance Briggs, Chase Claypool. Yeah, we've got about 15 boxes Roger left Staubach. in that. Cool breed. Adrian Peterson, Marshall Falk, some big names in there. So by no means is that uh, is the, are those headlines depleted in no. the series? No. between that and the mixer, and the mixer, how we um, we got seven spots left on seven the left in the mixer. Okay, so we're getting there. Yeah, the we mixer again, there. ten spot breaks. And again, if it does, if you bought in and you and we're mm -hmm. not going to break it this afternoon because uh, we're just going to close shop. Always uh, carries it just carries over to the next break, which is 8 p.m. Central Time tonight. And again, if you're you're new to the room, we do 14 shows a week, two every day. Yep. Two every day, Monday through Friday at noon Central Time, Saturday and Sunday, 2 p.m. Central Time, and then every night, seven days a week, 8 p.m. Central Time, we, we do this show. We'll be here. So, uh, again, uh, thanks for buying the spots this afternoon. Thanks for just hanging out with us, watching. You don't have to... You don't have to buy to, yeah. to just hang out and watch and we look at like some really dope the chat. memorabilia, Definitely. signed memorabilia. So, uh, guys, I think we'll wrap it up here. What do you say, Dave Everding? I think so. Had a good little run here. Pulled some sweets. Yeah. Sweet cool. We did four stuff. boxes in the uh, uh, in the uh, Deep Threat series. Yeah. We'll do more tonight. Definitely. Love and hopefully it. do some Platinums. Do some, hopefully the minis will be uh, ready by tonight. No promises, but... Uh, We'll check on that once we sign off here and Definitely. hopefully have a new mini helmet series. They're boxed. Looks like they're on the on deck circle. Like, let's go, baby. Let's go. Here we go. So, uh, thanks, everyone. Dave, Joe, great job, bud. I'll Good seeing you. you. Always you fun too. working with you, hanging Always. out with you. Uh, we'll see you back tonight. Me and Matt Bohan at 8 p.m. Central Time Dream team. here at Ultimate Autographs. Um, in, in our studios here. So, uh, have a good rest of the afternoon. We'll see you tonight. So long, everyone. Later, guys.